Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video <coughs> I wanted to film a get ready with me. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get straight into it. So obviously I'm going to pop on my headband as I always do, get my hair out of my face. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face with the in transit I got this out of a glossy box I think a few months ago and I really like it for priming it's a very moisturizing primer so so I'm gonna be using the last in finish uh, foundation by Rimmel London and this is in the shade True Ivory and this is brand new ah. three ah, we'll go for four pumps in the back of my hand basically just gonna dot this out Now I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to soak up the rest from the back of my hand on it. I find this is a really good trick if you just want to quickly clean your hand first of all and it also I think helps stop soaking up your makeup as much. I mean might, that might just be in my head but one of my favourite foundations. I love this foundation for nights out. I think this is such a nice foundation. It's really like thick, really long wearing, but really nice coverage. Gives you like a really nice base. One of my top foundations ever actually out of like all of the high-end ones that I've tried. Although I haven't really tried that many high-end ones, so. I like how this is looking, but I think I might add one more pump. I know that seems excessive, but this is a night out look, so it's going to be a little bit more dramatic than it would be. So I'm just going to take one more pump, just to add a little bit more coverage to some areas of my face. But yeah, I literally have no idea what I'm going to do. I know that I want to do something with blacks, black smoky eyes, something like that. There, we'll see. see how it turns out. So I'm really happy with that and I'm going to go in with a concealer and I don't, I think I might mix two concealers. So I think I'm going to go in with the NYX HD concealer and this is in the shade C01, no CW1 I think. I'm just going to apply this to my under eyes. And then I'm going to go in with my uh, 17 stay time, uh, 18 hour concealer. This is in the shade Extra Fair and I'm just going to use this to highlight. So. Please be quiet. Now I'm not going to really like bake but I might put some loose powder under my eyes. So I'm going to take my <laughs> RCMA no colour powder and I'm just going to pop this in the lid just a little bit. I'm going to use this on my beauty blender and I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes.
I like to put this on my eyelids as well just to get them prepared for um, uh, eyeshadow. And I'm obviously doing my smile lines to try and get them not to crease. Although it's inevitable, my smile lines always crease. So, so while that's doing its thing, um, I guess it is baking actually. <laughs> I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to take my NYX double-ended little brush thing that really needs cleaning, and. Uh, I'm going to go in with my next Hayman frame, and I'm literally only going to use this, I think. Actually, no, tell a lie. I'll use my Colourpop pomade as well in the shade uh, Dope Taupe, and this one is in the shade Blonde. So, these are my two favourite eye uh, eyebrow products. I've tried a lot of pencils, and I just end up going back to these. These last for ages, and they're really, really good. So, I'm just going to brush. Right, I'm gonna wipe off this bake because it's like doing my head in. It feels horrible on my face. So let's just pick a brush. I'm gonna pick any old brush just to sweep away that bake. Actually, let's pick a fluffy brush. Eyebrows are looking weird, so let's get them fixed. So I'm gonna go in now with my little pomade. Let me just put that brush on my own hands. <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm kind of happy with them. I'm gonna carve out this one. I'm gonna try and fix it because I like the way this one's looking really nice, but this one's looking weird. <sighs> well they don't match, but whatever. I'm just going to blend that out. Right, now let's start doing the eyes. Oh, I'm excited. So yeah, one eyebrow looks lighter than the other one, but that's fine, because they're going to be highlighted. You're not going to notice that anyway. Later on, I'm going to be using my uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Um, yeah. Right, well, I'm going to take this little brush from Real Techniques, and I'm going to use the shade Puree, I think, in my crease. I have done before, I think. Is that on there? I'm going to take that one in the crease, first of all. I'll pop some of this under my bottom lash line as well. Mm, now what? <laughs> um, I'm going to take this, like, I've used this brush before. Uh, this is, like, narrow brush. I'm going to take the shade Peach Pit, which is this shade here, it's like purpley shimmery shade, and I'm going to run that through the crease, but I'm going to focus it more on the outer, outer V. Blendy blending at the moment, but we're looking quite nice. I quite like that colour. I wanted this to be quite smoky and sultry, so that's why I want to go straight in with the darker colours, just because I want something a bit more, I don't know, a bit more intense. So, gonna go in with this one. I always use this brush, I love it. Little brush, and I'm probably gonna go in now with Tempting. Now, that's a really, really dark shade, or actually, no. Forget that. I'm going to go in with Talk Derby to me. Derby to me. What's that colour there? 
So yeah, this is like a purpley, shiny, shimmery colour. But yeah, oh, it's pigmented. I haven't used this one yet, so this is quite interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna pop this right on the outer V. And I'm obviously gonna take that on my lower lash line as well. But we're focusing it more to the actual lash line. Rather than smoking it out. Okay. Now I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to blend it out with this brush. This was nice and fluffy. And I don't know whether this will work, but I'm going to take Candid Peach, which is this shade here. And I'm going to run that through the crease on this fluffy brush. This might either completely ruin the look. I basically just want to pop this like up here, but I only want a really small amount. I just want to sort of warm that top bit up a little bit. I'm going to do that underneath as well. Fuels <coughs> me. With a fatter brush. take my my Shamex O palette and I'm gonna choose this like really nice light shimmery shade up here and I'm gonna put this on my inner corner I don't need a base or anything for this because I don't really want this to be like the main focal point of this lip and then I'm gonna blend that out with that same brush we use that Bellini shade on because if it a little bit comes off then it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm just going to blend that out. So obviously I'm going to do eyeliner and I'm going to clean up the underneath. So we'll do that first. So I'm going to take this is my NYX HD concealer and I'm just going to dot it underneath my eye mainly towards that kind of outer corner and then I'm going to take my beauty blender again and I'm just going to sort of carve out and tidy up that I'm going to set that concealer with some more translucent powder um, I'm going to go in and do eyeliner now. So, I like how my face is looking. It's getting a bit weird, isn't it? I'm going to blend that out a bit more. Ooh. Eyeliners that I use are the Rimmel Glam Eyes and the Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner, both in black. These are like my favourite ones, I've always used these since like secondary school, so I don't feel the need to try any others. Yeah, so that's my eyeliner done, and now I'm going to put some eyelashes on. Before. So these are the Kimberly by Ilia. I'm going to use my little mini duo adhesive to stick these on. I'm going to stick these on off camera just because I'm shit at doing eyelashes. So they may or may not have taken three hours to get on, but they are on. So yeah, we're not going to do anything yet though, I'm going to let them dry. While they're drying, we're going to do the face makeup. So what to do first? My Benefit Cheek Parade palette, and I'm going to take the Hula Light colour down here and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it on this like angled brush and dip it in a few times top it off and start piling up my cheekbones
Okay, and now I want to bronze the skin up a little bit. So I'll probably take my hula bronzer actually, but I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, so I'm gonna take this one. And I'm just gonna put hula bronzer on my cheekbones as well, but a very small amount of it, and I'm just gonna focus it kind of above where I've just put that contour. So <laughs> taking my usual blushy brush. And I think I might take dandelion actually. Um, which is this one. Because I fancy something a bit lighter and a bit more fresh looking for a blush. I don't want anything too heavy because the eyes are really heavy, so I don't want anything that's gonna look weird. So a nice fresh looking blush is perfect. I think we're gonna curl the lashes. Ooh, that's still not stuck. Do you think? Where it is? It is. I'm not gonna curl the lashes. I am, however, gonna use this new mascara that I've been loving ever since I saw Lauren Curtis's video. She tried out lots of drugstore mascaras and this was the first one she tried and she loved it and I love it, it's fantastic. Uh, this is the e uh, Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara and it's just this little pretty like purple packaging. And the one looks like this. It's like this really nice curved wand. But I don't think it's the wand that makes this product really good. I think it's the formula. Um, the formula is very quick drying, so you can build it up really quickly. The intensity is very like it's very good. You're not going to be able to really see it in this video, but yeah, it's a very good mascara and fast becoming one of my new favorites. The shape of it as well is really good. You really get in all those lashes. <laughs> well. If that's not a disaster, I do not know what is. But that, yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll sort it out after. Let's get cracking. Mm. I will pop some elsewhere as well. But let me. Right, I'm gonna do that one first. I love this stuff, it's so warm. Like it's already skin temperature is so strange. Oh look at that! It's blinding, girl, it's blinding. I feel like if you put too much on, don't you worry, because one, it will go under the brows. Right under them browses. And the tip of the nose. The centre of the nose. Cupid's bow. Oh, it's like a liquid. And the chin. I'm glowing to the to the hills. Glowing like a mofo. I hope this is picking up as nice as it looks on my skin on camera. Hopefully it just peels off. Take a dry and just gently scratch it off. Seriously, like concerned about this. Why is this not coming off? Okay. So I had to use a little bit of force with that bad boy, but no problem because I can just go in with some concealer. Just touch up that area again. Okay, so this is how we're looking so far. And we've got some nice glow in our skin from that iconic London stuff. It's like my favourite ever. I freaking love it. And now we're going to do lips. The G Spot lip liner in the shade Enlightened. And I'm going to line my lips first with this. Filled my lips in with that. And now I'm going to take uh, this Mellow Cosmetics. Uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Puerto Rico and it's like a greyish 
matte liquid lipstick. And I know it doesn't really match the lip liner, but kind of warms up the liquid lipstick. So this is how we are looking. So yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.